All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. For those of you that are new here, my name's Drew Sims. I'm here with my Jeep. And today I'm headed from Utah in Idaho, gonna be doing a couple nights of winter camping. I'm headed over to the northeast side of Idaho, kind of near West Yellowstone. Right below that is a waterfall called Mesa Falls, which is one of my favorite waterfalls out west. Really excited to get back there in the winter. Also gonna be snowmobiling for the first time, which I'm nervous about, but I'm, I'm really, really excited and hopefully hitting a hot springs or two as well. I am headed up there a little late in the season, so I'm nervous about finding a spot to camp. I've got three or four coordinates marked on Google Maps that I'm decently confident about, so fingers crossed at least one of those pans out. But for now, I'm gonna hop in the Jeep, keep heading north, and see if I can find a decent spot to camp.
All right, I think I've made it to camp for the night, this little spot behind me here near the river. I've been on this forest service road for about the last hour, trying to find a spot to camp. I got bottomed out just around the corner up there, about 200 yards, so I turned around and I think I'm kind of out of options to camp other than digging out a spot for myself. It also looks like someone's been wheeling out here on a regular basis, just because the forest service road itself at its max is only like six to eight inches deep, which is very doable for the Jeep. But then if you get off the main road, it's like two to three feet deep, which I cannot get through on 33s. This is when 35s or 37s would come in handy for sure. I think I know what I have to do. I just really, really don't want to do it, but it is time to start shoveling. Nearly five minutes after I started shoveling, this big F-250 comes down the road, 35 inch mud terrains, he had chains on, and what looked like a four inch lift. Has to get around my Jeep and just comes right down to the snowbank and busts right through the snow, no issue. I feel like my Jeep's pretty capable most of the time, but 33 inch all terrains on a two and a half inch lift versus that truck setup makes a huge difference in this scenario. Just having higher clearance alone in snow makes a huge difference. So as he continues on up the road, I'm going to get back to shoveling. got done cutting wood hopefully this fire gets going all this wood is pretty wet the inside of that big log looks dry and feels dry and then I gathered a bunch of little sticks that were underneath some of the bigger trees so those stayed dried as well and I should be able to get a fire going with this thing in pretty much any condition
Dinner is done. That meal has been one of my go-tos for a while now for camping. Really quick and easy, and there's little to no prep time, which is great. I just buy store-bought fajita mix, some cheese, cilantro, tortillas, and of course, Taco Bell seasoning. But it's, it's really good and a very hearty meal for how easy it is to make. Pretty solid afternoon. I definitely did a lot more hiking around and shoveling and, and cutting wood than I thought I'd be, but really happy with this spot considering a lot is inaccessible right now. I feel grateful that I was just able to get to a spot where I could put up the tent and start a fire. I'm not gonna film anything in the morning tomorrow because I'm headed out pretty early, headed to Mesa Falls, which should be a pretty fun time. I've been there before in the winter, really excited to be back. So my plan is just to put the tent away in the morning, probably do like a yogurt and granola and get an early start to the day. Thank you. 
Gonna take a really quick break from the winter camping to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Jackery. Jackery has been a longtime supporter of my channel. I personally have been using a Jackery for over three years now. I initially started with the Explorer 1000, then had the 1500, and now finally with the 2000 Pro. With a 2200 watt inverter and a 4400 watt peak surge, this is kind of the perfect battery size for me, being able to charge electronics, camera gear, drone batteries. And also this winter, I've charged an electric blanket, electric heating pad, and electric kettle as well. Another really awesome feature about this battery is that it allows pass through charging. All that means is that I can plug solar panels into this or plug this into the Jeep 12 volt while simultaneously charging my gear. So having that amount of power, especially in the winters when the sun isn't out a ton, even though the sun is now directly on me. In winter camping, I usually am up in snowstorms with heavy clouds, wind, and I don't usually see the sun for a few days. So having this size battery and this amount of power is really awesome for my setup. If you guys are interested, make sure to visit jackery.com to get some gear of your own and use code Drew Sims to get 10% off your first purchase. Big thanks again to Jackery for sponsoring this video.
I was planning on filming the first bite, but as you guys can see, dinner is pretty much 90% done here. This was absolutely delicious. Wow. I am thoroughly, thoroughly satisfied with dinner tonight. Long day today. Snowmobiling was so much fun though. Can't believe I've never done it before. Um, I've done winter camping the past three winters now, and this is the first time I've gotten out on a snowmobile and will definitely not be my last. Got into a little powder as well, which was so much fun. Not really sure what I'm doing though, so I didn't spend too much time and, and didn't get too far away from the main road, but had an absolute blast. And Massa Falls is one of my favorite waterfalls probably in the whole state of Idaho. I've been there in the summer, the fall. And this is my second time coming in the winter and such a beautiful area. My plan for tomorrow was to drive about two hours north to a hot springs. Unfortunately, the next like two to three days here and north of me is going to be 40 mile an hour wind gust with very icy cold conditions. So instead, my new plan is to head down to Salt Lake tomorrow and then end the video at a hot springs down in that area. I figured it'd be a much better ending to this video with the hot springs versus me just sitting in the Jeep in 40 mile an hour winds talking to the camera like this. So I will catch you guys at the hot springs.